The Michigan legislature will return to session for the first time in two months tomorrow. The makeup of the legislature a little different than it was last year, at least temporarily. And political reporter Rick Alvin joining us now to talk about what uh, that is and what's next for lawmakers. Rick? Brian and Sue, Democrats no longer have a majority in the House. As you say, that's temporary, we think. There are two seats that would be filled by special elections by April. Still, the first thing on the agenda for many lawmakers will be to get started on a budget. After Democrats passed some of the largest spending plans ever seen in Michigan in 2023, Republican Senator Thomas Albert, an appropriator, says there won't be a big surplus of cash this year, and that may actually make the budget process easier. I definitely think if you, if you look over last year, they spent way too much, way too quickly. There was a reason why there was that $9 billion there, and that was because when I was appropriations chair in the House, um, I, I made sure we didn't overspend. And so then as soon as they got the, the keys to the pocketbook, away they went. Is it going to be, again, I'm asking you for your opinion, because uh, as I pointed out a minute ago, you haven't even been back in session yet, but is it going to be more difficult to get a bu budget done uh, this coming year, particularly if you're looking at revenues that are flat or near flat? Um, ironically, I think it's easier. I think it's if you have a sustainable budget, um, and you, know, you kind of already have what you did last year, you kind of build off that. Um, so if you, if you don't have um, you know, a windfall of cash to have to try to figure out what to do with, it, it's, I think it's actually a little easier. Albert and his colleagues will be back in Lansing starting tomorrow, as we said, though it may be a slow start to the legislative session given the makeup of the House and the early going.